and you have a thousand shillings in your pocket. <laughs> Of Imla, 
And the king of Israel, Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, sat eight of them on his throne, clothed in their robes, and they sat in a void place at the entering in of the gate of Samaria. And all the prophets prophesied before them. Oh, did they prophesy. And Zedekiah, the son of Jenna, had made him homes of iron, and he said, Thus says the Lord, With these thou shalt push Syria until they be consumed. And all the prophets and all the prophets prophesied so, saying, Go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. I will get the one Lord, 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 the whole place. It is L O R D capital. And the messenger that went to call Micaiah spoke to him, saying, Go, the words of the prophets declare good to the king with one assent. Let thy word therefore, I pray thee, be like one of them, and speak thou good. He's trying, he's trying to prepare him, telling him, you know the other prophets, 400 of them, this is what they have said. They can be wrong. So make sure you have a word alone with these 400 prophets, okay? Mm -hmm. And when he was come to the king, the king said unto him, Micaiah, uh, Micaiah Shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to back, or shall I forbear? And he said, Go ye up and prosper, and they shall be delivered into your hand. I wish, I wish I can say it the way he was saying it because he just said like them, but many times the expressions in your face can even speak louder than what you say, right? Yes. And you know, I'm not there to see the expressions of these prophets, but I can imagine. He just tell him, yeah, you go there, and you will win. You will be definitely joined if I read a double message. There's something here I'm not getting. Huh? But you remember what Ahab said. He said, I don't like him. I hate him. He doesn't prophesy good about me. These last things, that people want good prophecies. They want prophecies that will speak about uh, prosperity. They want prophecies that will speak about uh, uh, big, uh, all these things. They want prophecies that will really, really make them bigger in, than they are. That's what people are looking for. Healing, prosperity, money, big name, and all that. Did you know, if when you read the history, a big man, servants who served the Lord faithfully and left a legacy around. They went through a lot. Okay, God raised them up to be and to go up to where they went. But they had to go through a lot of trials. They had to go a lot of challenges. And that's what we want to avoid. That's what we want to avoid. I'll never forget. In 1974, I don't preach in Uganda during Idi Amin's time. We just finished the camp and I headed out to Uganda to preach. And I preached one area and I was to go to another area. And uh, I, I didn't know what I was going to find. And I dreamt a dream, a, a dream that was terrifying, that I had arrived, arrived there late and I was dropped on the way. I didn't know where I was going. And on the way, I met some very wild animals and they chased me. This is the dream. In the morning, when I woke up and I was going to, not far from Lake Albert, I was all alone. I tried to avoid that dream. I said I'll leave here very early in the morning so that I, 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 I arrive at like noon or two o'clock so that I don't get there at night to be chased by animals. <laughs> the bus had a breakdown on the way and we arrived there at dark. Now, I was not chased by an animal but because I plainly interpreted the dream to mean I would be chased by animals. No. But among the people that had invited me was a character that I had a very serious plan about my life. And I left 
before the meetings were over, I simply ran away. Later on, when I looked at the dream, I saw, oh, it was not an animal. It was a messenger of the devil that was going to chase me out of town. Okay? Today, people are trying to avoid rods that God is going to pass them. If God is going to make succeed you, if God is going to bring success on your way, or success of ministry, or what you're doing, there are just some things you just have to go through. Testing. You've got to be tested. This electricity that we have here has positive and negative. And I say, when you remove, if you remove the negative, we will not have light. Correct? <laughs> I know you're quiet. You want the hallelujah thing. Oh, the Lord is going to do this. But I'm telling you, <laughs> the, the way of going up is going down. And listen, leaders, I tell members, if this leader has not been tried and broken, don't follow him. Don't follow him. The Lord desires to break us. This self, this, these names, these success we call, all those things, the Lord wants to crush us, that if anything is going to come up, it is the Lord. It's not we. I'll never forget, in 2002, August, I was stepping down from being the presiding bishop of the Christian Church International. And God gave me a message about a tarot. A tarot on a first post. And I said, have you ever found a tortoise? We call it a tortoise here. The Americans call it a tarot. Have you ever found a tarot on top of a first post? Somebody put it there. Somebody placed it there. Because the feet, I mean the legs, they're too short to climb up a post. Somebody put it there. I have been a tarot on a fence post. Somebody put me there. Because if I, if, if I was to do all this by myself, by my own strength, I would never have done it. I would never have made it. Without God, I could never. But God did it. Thou shalt say nothing but the truth to me in the name of the Lord. Then, verse 16, then he said, I did see Israel scattered upon the mountains as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, These have no master. Let them return thereof, every man to his house in peace. And the king of Israel said to Joshua, Did I not tell thee that he would not prophesy good unto me, but evil? Again he said, Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne, and all the host of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall entice Hedehah, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at the realm of Gilead? And one speck saying after this manner, and another saying after that manner. Then there came out a spirit and stood before the Lord, and said, I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. Go out and do even so. Do even third. A lying spirit. A lying. 400 prophets. A spirit had been given permission from heaven because it asked for permission. I was told, okay, you can go. And came and lied in through these prophets. Go, you'll.